Alrighty mateys, welcome back to Klepto Stash. We've got some buried treasure for you today. And sometimes that buried treasure is a hell of a lot better than uh, the stuff that people use that's extremely popular that just totally sucks. If you're a fan of OneNote, if you're a, fa a fan of uh, Evernote, Digo, etc, etc, and you're sort of trying to get off the cloud bandwagon as everything is on the cloud today, uh, sort of, sort of, uh, nebulous off-site server somewhere that you don't control, or that you don't know who controls it, or even where the hell it is, your stuff is, that's floating out there in the stratosphere, if you will. Well, here's some nice local, right there in your folder, or on your, on your drive, that you can use. This is a great replacement for, uh, OneNote, Evernote, and the rest of the boys out there. This is called Tag Spaces. This is great. Of course, it is uh, cross-platform, and it is open source. I like open source stuff. Tag Spaces is an open source personal data manager. It helps you organize files with tags on every platform. Now, this screenshot here is ridiculous. I don't use that many tags. It's too much color popping and frightening for me, so I don't do that. Why should you use Tag Spaces? Tag Spaces is an open sourced, published under the AGPL license. <laughs> Very nice. It is designed to be easily extended with different plugins for uh, virtu uh, visualization, not virtualization, visualization of directory structures and for opening up different file types. That's right, uh, which is very nice. No backend, no login, no cloud. Tag Spaces is completely is running completely offline on your computer, smartphone or tablet, does not require internet connection or online registration. Thank you man, thank you so damn much. Uh, you can use uh, the platform with own cloud, Dropbox, blah blah blah, or you can just use, put it on your damn drive and, and do that, that's what I do. Um, ease of use. Tag Spaces offers you a convenient web interface as your local file system. It is implemented in JavaScript and HTML5, stuff you know, stuff you use which are the technologies behind most of modern web applications okay I'm not gonna totally dig deep on this one but needless to say this is awesome um, I mean of course you got you can organize photos recipes and voices you could take your entire PDF library and organize it with tag spaces and you can add PDFs it adds PDFs and HTML and, and, and JPEG and GIFs and all that stuff to um, tag spaces and you can tag them and say okay here was the pictures when I was drunk in Tijuana drinking Boilermaker shakes and you just tag it um, but uh, it says here great for note taking you can create and edit notes in plain text markdown yes markdown and HTML file formats you can organize web pages saved in uh, MHT or MHTML format. You can use Tag Space to organize your ebook library c containing, uh, uh, for, for example, PDFs or EPUB books. You can create a personal wiki for tracking your projects, ideas, or memories. That's what I'm doing right now. Personal with new wiki. Um, there's all kinds of little Linux how to fix this, how to fix that, what script am I using for this, what script am I using for that. You know, how can I fix this stupid problem that exists every time I install Linux? And so I keep that stuff there. I've just started out with this one. Uh, I started using it just yesterday, and it's so awesome. I had to do a video on it. Um, file browsing, browse your file system, a convenient HTML5 web interface. Um, it's got a bunch of uh, supported file types for previewing and editing. Um, and the hell with Chromecast. Let's get to the features. File tagging, batch tagging, file sorting, tag groups, file management, responsive design. Yeah, it's pretty snappy. Smart tags, folder management, file grouping by date, color coded tags, searching and finding, file groups by tag groups. Um, needless to say, this, this is pretty damn awesome. I'm going to give you a sample of, of how I'm using mine right now. I don't have much in there, but I'll show you. And so, I love this one right here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, yeah. This is a good one right here. 
Wow, just found out about tag spaces. Very cool stuff. Evernote, uh, bye bye, and thanks for your continued support on Linux slash Chrome platforms. Mmm, yes, because they don't have any support for Linux or whatever platforms you're using. It's not Windows or Mac. They don't have it. I, I okay. I'm, I'm not gonna get on a tangent. I'm not, not, I'm not. But for God's sakes, okay. If you make it for Windows and you make it for Mac and you make it for Android and you make it for Windows Phone, and uh, who the hell is using a Windows Phone? Oh, okay. Tangent. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right now. I'm just gonna show you. Oh, and here's the GitHub page if you wanna go there and check it out. Okay. Tag spaces. Okay. I'm not doing much with mine right now. I just I just found out about this yesterday. So I'm just doing, you know, seeing how everything is going. Now, let's say I want to start a new one, right? Now, you could just uh pull a markdown file, you can pull a plain text file, you can you can just edit in a what you see is what you get kind of editor. You could add an existing file, which could be a JPEG, could be a PDF, could be uh, MHTML, or whatever the hell, right? So, and here you get is your basic what you see, what you get type of editor, where you've got links, you've got pictures, whatever the hell, code view, your different stylings. I mean, it's pretty much, you know, pretty good standard. Another another great one I was using for a while was called Turtle T U R T L, but um, I haven't seen much development on that side. But and this one has a lot of what I wanted on Turtle, and so I'm, I think I'm just gonna move over here. And so you can add your tags. This is friggin' riggin' Shiggin, awesome, sauce, yeah, man, really, it, really, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't like add like a gang of tags here, but here's a list right here, add tags, and there you go, uh, by default it adds a date tag, which is nice, so you can just find the tag, um, let's say you want to find a tag, search a tag for uh, like that time of day or whatever have you, or the or that time of the month or whatever have you. So works well. And so let me go back to editing. <sighs> Let's. Uh, I can't even spell. Let's see. I want that bigger. It's not big enough. There we go. Wait, 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 wait. Ugh. We need more fonts. Please, developer, we need more fonts. I'm a font addict. I need, like, 30 fonts to work with. Uh, I'm really obsessive when it comes to, like, WordPress sites and picking out fonts, like, from a thousand fonts. I'll go view a thousand fonts. Okay, I'm going to stop on tangent. I'm going to stop. But let's go back to this and just trash it. I don't want that here. So this one, um, they do have plugins like a Firefox Chrome plugin where you can just go to a website that you want to save, and it will save it for you in a in an image, or you can just pull the whole friggin' web uh, web page and make it a, a MHTML file, and then you it automatically pull it in for you. It's pretty kick ass. Um, but um let's see here. I haven't really even totally experimented on it yet, so I'll leave that to you. But I'm I'm impressed and uh, there's lots of development going on. Lots and lots of development going on. Um And the important thing is that there's no cloud back in, there's no login. What what this is I have right here is um it's a folder in my documents. 
just says the folder tag spaces and it's got a, there's like a whenever you create another let's another say folder see right here home slash klepto slash document slash tag spaces slash linux so as soon as you create another category it creates that folder for you or you can create that folder yourself however you want to roll it's up to you uh, and so this being open source no cloud no logins no none of that crap you just you just download it and you go I like it you should check it out and uh, dig in dig deep and enjoy and uh, I'll have another video right after this one on another another jewel another piece of buried treasure that I've found and put in klepto stash so stay tuned for that